Solving linear inequalities, we worked through a few examples so far. We're going to do a couple more examples in this video, but this is called special cases because something special is going to happen in each of these examples. Let's just jump to my first one here, example one. I suggest that you pause the video and solve this one on your own and see if you can figure out why this is a special case. So first thing I'm going to do is simplify both sides of this inequality here. I do that by distributing 3, gives me 9 plus 4c is greater than 3c plus 3, and then carry down that last c. Combine like terms on my right, I can add my 3c and my c, and copying everything else down. That gives me 9 plus 4c is greater than 4c plus 3. Now, I want to rearrange this where I put all of my variables together. So let me move my 4c to the left. And notice what happens. It doesn't matter if I would have moved this to the left or to the right because these four C's actually end up canceling each other out on both sides of the equation. So let's just write down what we have left at this point. We have 9 is greater than 3. Now this means that I can't officially solve for what C is because all of my C's cancel out. But since this is a true inequality, that doesn't necessarily mean that I cannot solve it. It just means that every value that I substitute in for C will always make this a true equation. So since this is a true statement, that means that C can be any real number. Now, we know that a symbol to summarize any real number is that double bar R that we've seen probably in the first set of videos for this class. And so this double bar R is what we would input if it asks us for set builder notation. It means any real number is an acceptable for a true statement with all of my C's cancel out. So my graph then, I don't need to put any number on my graph because every single number that I can think of will be an acceptable solution to this problem. So my interval notation goes all the way from negative infinity up to positive infinity and everything in between. So this is your first example of a special case when you end up with a true statement, which means any value that you possibly can think of will work to substitute in for C. Let's move on to the second example. Again, I suggest that you pause the video and see if you can figure out why this is a special case. And then beyond that, see if you can figure out the notations that go with it. So same steps. I start by simplifying or by distributing here. Give me 6x plus 3 plus 4 on the left and just copying down the right. Combining like terms gives me 6x plus 7 is less than or equal to 6x plus 2. Same thing, I want to rearrange this so I can put all my variables together. Let me move my 6x to the left by subtracting 6x, and notice it cancels on both sides of my equation. That leaves me with 7 is less than or equal to 2. But 7 is never less than 2, so this is a false statement. So that means C has no solution. I cannot find any value for C that will ever make this solution a true statement. Well, if my answer is no solution, then that's going to be the notation for a couple of these. I can fill that in for my set builder notation, and I would also fill that in for my interval notation. That symbol with zero with a line through it from the top right to the bottom left. 
Set Builder Notation actually has a second way you can input its notation. Typically, we start Set Builder Notation with the braces. And if we have no solution, that means we do not have anything to fill in with the braces. So this is the second way that you can write this set builder notation. Basically, this is a way to write an empty set or no solution. Now our graph, there's just nothing that we can put on our number line that will represent no solution. So basically, we just leave it with an empty graph. And these are the two things that will happen in special cases. Either you end up with a true statement, which means any number works, or a false statement, which means absolutely no number works. And so be careful of these on your homework because they might show up when you least expect it.